The drawing room is one of the defining spaces of the English country house. The name immediately evokes a grand space in which the finest decoration and furnishing is found. In the arena of the country house, the drawing room had been chosen by social habit as the key room for the removal or withdrawing of ladies from the dining table to allow men time for political discussion. The significance of the drawing room increased with the fashionable and expensive ritual of drinking tea and coffee after meals, often served by the hostess herself. Drawing rooms were functional spaces, always centered on a substantial fireplace to provide warmth and tall windows for daylight and prospect over the land. The drawing room was connected to other rooms of reception such as halls, saloons, the grandest rooms of reception aligned on the hall, and libraries with doors arranged so that servants, butlers and footmen, could serve those occupying the rooms. Above all, the drawing room belonged to a series of rooms designed for sociability, with the comfort and elegance necessary when the English landowner and his wife were entertaining their peers. The greatest decorators of the day, from Nancy Lancaster David Hicks David Mlynarik and Henrietta Spencer Churchill have been employed in the decoration of this most important of rooms. In most cases, the drawing rooms featured in this book are still used as rooms in which to spend time with friends and family, especially in the evening, to drink, to chat, and to savor companionship and conversation, to listen to music or read. In the 21st century, the English country house drawing room remains, although in subtly altered guise, an elegant space where guests may be entertained, good conversation cultivated, and the fine possessions of a house presented and enjoyed. <laughs>